What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today's Friday, which means it's the start of my weekend. I uh, hope you guys are having a good weekend and had a good week. Let's jump into today's video. Just doing a short video, uh, pretty much giving an update on the ISF. So I decided to part out all the parts on the car. Um, I feel like I'll have an easier time selling the car, mainly stock, not only that, but I'll get a lot more money. Um, just in like these parts alone right here, it's a couple thousand that I can bring the price down of the ISF to sell it faster. So I'm going to show you guys pretty much what's what's going to come off or has came off already and uh, what's sold. So I just posted all this stuff yesterday. I had it all removed. I, I went ahead and took off most of it. There's still some stuff I need to take off, but the majority of the stuff's off of it. I posted it all up yesterday. If you guys are on the Lexus Facebook pages, you guys saw that. Sorry if I didn't get back to you. I had like 40 messages. Everything pretty much sold um, pretty fast. And I have buyers coming all weekend. So the first thing is going is the, the front lip. One of my favorite pieces off the car right here. Um, this front lip is going today along with uh, he's purchasing the Biggs diff bushing kit. So they're picking up those two things within like the hour. Um, so that'll be gone later on today. In the afternoon, someone's picking up the air oil separator with the upgraded AN lines that I did. And then my Cusco LSD with the OEM bearings and axle seals. So that's brand new. So someone came up on that because I sold it for quite a bit cheaper. Um, so that's a good come up for them. And then someone's supposed to come up, come pick up the side skirts as well. We just verified that they fit in the ISF and they do. So they're going to come get them today. The rear diffuser, I can't remember if someone spotted it or not. Um, I have a couple people that want to get it, but it's pretty much first come, first serve. Oh, actually, it is sold. Uh, it, it's actually sold. I forgot about that. So along with those parts, I am doing a straight trade for my seats. These are really nice seats. Um, they're pretty new still. I, I've only had them for a few months, and I don't drive the car that often, so they're, they're relatively new. They're status racing seats, the blue stitching. Um, go well with the interior of the ISF with all the blue stitching that the car comes with So I'm doing just a straight trade for OEM seats that are good quality and that guy's coming on Sunday He's coming down from the Bay Area. I live in I live in San Diego, SoCal uh, It's it's a pretty far drive. It's probably like 10 hours. I'm assuming uh, 9 or 10 hours. So he's gonna come on Sunday pick up. We're gonna do the seat swap He's gonna buy the status harnesses off of me as well And then he's gonna pick up the diffuser for his cut for his cousin. So he's gonna take that back to the Bay Area um, and then also today I am trading my upgraded steering wheel that I had made for OEM steering wheel plus cash. So I'm trading for a good condition OEM steering wheel plus I think 450 on top. Um, the steering wheel is like seven or $800. So that's a good come up for whoever gets it. The guy that's coming and, uh, it's, it's a really good condition. So, um, it's a really nice steering wheel. I just, I mean, I'd rather have the money. It'll be, I'll get more money out of selling it. And putting the stock one on then i will selling it with the car i can't really charge up charge for that kind of stuff it's it's kind of hard to to do that when you're trying to sell a used car um so that'll be gone too it's actually the same guy that bought my uh, rr racing intake that i sold a few weeks ago so he's coming down to pick that up and then as far as what's left um i have the mishimoto oil cooler back here so i need to remove that i already drained all the oil out because i'm going to do an oil change before i sell the car so I needed to remove this. I'm going to do that right now. Take that off. Um, and I believe that's it. I don't think I have anything else, to be honest. I'm going to leave the coilers. I'm going to leave the exhaust, the wheels. I don't have other wheels, so I think it looks better like that. The only thing I need to do now, once all these parts are gone, is going to be rewrapping. When I wrapped the car, I didn't remove the diffuser. So I have to rewrap stuff like this. So I'm going to order wrap, and then uh, also I'm going to touch up some areas that need it that way i can sell the car a lot cleaner uh, and the car runs really good i, I just had i just had the Koyo. i just upgraded the koyo radiator because my radiator gave out it started leaking so i put the koyo koyo rad maybe like three thousand miles ago honestly um since i put it in the beginning of the year i haven't driven the car much because of the the pandemic yeah so i have the koyo uh upgraded radiator along with the aura racing trans cooler and those are staying with the car that's staying with the car so that's a nice uh upgrade for whoever buys the car 
Um, I also had the the radiator fan control modules replaced both of them that was expensive it was like fifteen hundred dollars to get those two replaced uh, they, they kind of they got shorted out one of the wires um, got messed up on in the harness going to those the ecu to the fans and uh, shorted out both of the modules which really sucked so i had to replace both of them so those are both brand new they put along with new belts uh, they did the they did the valley plate leak check too yeah, i took it to a lexus um, mechanic and he checked the valley plate leak uh, he said it looked all good so that's great because that's that could be pretty expensive and a headache so that's all taken care of and then i'm leaving the josie intake pipe here because that's the what the car came with so i don't have the the factory one and then it's got isc coilovers uh good coilovers honestly i haven't had any issues i got them pretty stiff because i wanted for the track so the springs are pretty stiff but uh other than that they, they're really good um, what else? I think that's it. I also purchased a new touchscreen digitizer because it's uh, mine's out. As you guys know, they go out pretty um, pretty commonly, so I have a new one that I need to swap in. Just a bunch of little stuff. I'm going to leave the carbon interior trim that I put in there. I think it looks better than the silver, personally. But the car is in really good condition, especially on the inside. It's, like, brand new. I have no, like, nothing is defected or messed up. Everything is brand new. Even the rear seats are, like perfect condition so it's a really good taking care of car i mean i, I tracked it but obviously you know i took care of it um all the maintenance everything i only did i think four or five track days in it so this will be going up for sale um it will be going pretty cheap at least i think so um i haven't decided on the price yet but so it's got just under ninety thousand miles it's at like 89.5 so just under ninety thousand miles it's a 2008 um, but it is salvaged so when i purchased it the owner, the owner that had it before me, he purchased it from the, from Allstate that repaired the car from the crash and it had crashed in like 2011. And then he owned it from 2011 up until I purchased it in 2018, the right, right at the beginning of 2018. Um, and then I've had it two and a half, almost going on three years now with, and I've put on 40,000 miles. Cause I got it with like 50, I got it with around 50,000 miles. Um, so I put about 40,000 miles on. I haven't, I haven't had a single issue. Um, the cars ran really good. And I've been really happy with it. I just, I mean, I, it's not realistic for me to keep both. So I'm going to love to see it go to a new home. Along with all these parts, it's going to be cool. A lot of these guys um, I see on Facebook or I, I've known them a little bit, you know, just from social media. So it's going to be cool to see some of their, this stuff go on their cars, especially the seats. That guy's always racing. So that's pretty cool. Um, those are really good seats. They're pretty expensive too. So but I just, I just want to do a straight trade just because it'll be easier to sell with the, the stock seats. Um, not everyone wants those kind of seats. Oh, and then the last thing too is a roll cage. So I still have the roll cage. This one's been hard to sell just because not everyone wants a roll cage. I have one guy saying he's going to come next weekend, but we'll see. Um, they'll sometimes fall through. Hopefully he does. But if not, there's two other people that are kind of interested. Um, I know them. I know them kind of good. So I'm I'm trying to hook them up, you know, but I'm also trying to get some of the money because was, that was pretty expensive. It was like $2,100 uh, and I'm selling it for like half price right now. So um, it's a good deal for anyone that, that wants that. Yeah, guys, uh, it's kind of sad to see it go, but uh, it also makes me excited for the new opportunities that I'm going to have with this this car. Yeah, but I'll update you guys. Uh, I'll, I'll update you guys once everything's sold and once I put it up for sale. If anyone's interested, I'm in SoCal, so I'm just going to do a local sale, honestly. I'm not looking to have it transport or anything like that. Um, like I said, I'll most likely put it up for like under $20,000. Um, I'm trying to be realistic, you know. I know it's salvage title, so that, that doesn't, uh, it's hard to sell sometimes. But it's a really good taking care of car for anyone that wants to get an ISF for. For cheap under a hundred thousand miles in like really good condition on the inside the outside it's not the greatest uh the paint that is under from when i got it painted some of it peeled off when i did the the last wrap and i removed it, it like peeled some of the paint off so that was kind of the reason why i rewrapped it so i'm just going to touch up the wrap areas that need it um so it's like nice and clean and then off to the new owner but yeah thank you guys for checking out the video i appreciate it it was a short one but, and I'll see you guys on the next video.